Happy Saturday, everybody. Who's ready to have some doll fun? Ooh, me. Do you guys see this? We're going, we're, going, <laughs> we're going on doll fun tours. We're going to go on a dolphin and manatee tour. Yeah. Let's go do it. Whoa, did you guys hear that? What? The Coast Guard uh, saw a flare. Oh, really? And we're off. Here we go. They said that this used to be called Dragon's Point. Let's talk about boat races. This big house right here belongs to a guy about two years ago. His name is Bob Bull, U-L-L. And he owns the fastest boat in the world. Oh, it's a number three CMS race boat. It's got 2,800 horsepower in his boat. That was Dragon Point Estate. That's where he says that's where the dragon was. And at the end was Annie the Dragon. That was 100 feet long, 35 feet tall, made out of concrete. Dang, I'll show you guys a picture of her right now. Camera noise. You can kind of see a little bit of the footing of the dragon. So you can see like parts of it, the green pieces. By the way, I know about this spot. I'm gonna try to get it fixed. We're out in the Banana River or the Intercoastal Waterway or the Indian River. I think it's all the same thing. Just different areas of it. This is where that dragon was and this is the very point of Merritt Island. Merritt Island is where Kennedy Space Center is. It's very skinny here, but then it gets a lot wider all the way up north. Our captain just told us that these are all crab traps and winter from Dolphin's Tail got caught in one and wrapped it around her tail and that's why she had to have her tail amputated. He said that that was done by SeaWorld and now she lives out in Clearwater at the Clearwater Aquarium. There's one dolphin by themselves that's usually going to be a male. Males get kicked out of the pod when they're around five years old because they start getting curious about females and they don't want to inbreed in the pod so they kick them out. And what that dolphin does, they spend the rest of their life looking for fish and females. What is over here? This is kind of what it's like going on a dolphin tour. You never know if you're going to see it or if it's going to like evade you. There he is. His pelican like scratching his chest. He's pulling oil off the front of his chest and putting it on the rest of his wings so that he's getting ready for the day where he has to dive into the water. It's like a little park here. Everybody's having like a picnic back out in the Indian River. I think we're going to be looking for dolphins. We didn't see any manatees. That's what we were down that little side river, side canal looking for. Kind of interesting being out here in a boat looking for dolphins. Can't imagine like trying to study dolphins out here in the wild. We've seen one so far. I think we may have spotted a dolphin. We're heading over here towards this point. What are you doing there, Mr. Jetski? Yeah. I feel like this is the hardest thing. Just trying to figure out what side of the boat the dolphin's on. Jet ski scared him, I think. Yeah. Or our horn when we honked at the jet ski. One of the two. There he is. Oh, it's like right next to us. All these boats are on their way back from watching. There's a big offshore fastest boats in the world race this weekend. He's swabbing the deck and making it so shiny. I don't know if that's one of the fastest boats in the world, but it certainly does look like a fast boat. Look at this house. How'd you like to live here? You got a pool, you got a backyard that goes out into the river. You've got a huge yacht looking boat. Pretty fancy. This is the mom and the baby that we saw earlier. Sometimes they come out and say hi. They come out to the boat, they turn on their sides because your eyes are on the side of their head. Let's see if he's gonna come over. It's a mom and a baby. There they are. Look, look, look at this. Look at the girlfriend. Look at the That looks like hay hay. Pretty funny. Oh, I saw two. Me too. Oh, yeah. oh right. We are all done with the dolphin, dolphin boat tour. Yeah, a lot what of it, respect uh, to that guy because we went out there and we looked and we looked and we looked. We didn't see anything. And then we found like one dolphin. He's like, we're going to see this dolphin 900 times. Yeah. <laughs> and so we saw the dolphin a bunch. I do have a little bit of a complaint about the other passengers on the boat, on the boat. 
Yeah. But like, I don't know. That's that's just if your kids are not interested in something, don't, don't force them. To don't be take them on a ninety-minute tour of that thing that they don't want to see. Yeah, <laughs> so true. What did you guys think? I loved it. I mean, it was really so peaceful. It, it was. was. It was really good. Um, we didn't see any manatees. We didn't see any manatees, no, but nearer to the end, the like, we, yeah, we started to find all the dolphins, and I thought it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Worth it. So after the boat tour, we needed some lunch, drove up here to JB's fish camp, then we're gonna go over to the beach. Let's get some food first. There's a dolphin out there. We just got off a dolphin tour. All we had to do was come here and stand on the pier. We could have seen dolphins. I came out here on the pier, see if we can see the dolphin. There it is. I can see it like moving around in the water over there. There he is. Oh no. There's a couple of them, manatees down here too. So we didn't have to go on this tour. We could have just come right here and seen dolphins and manatees. Let's see. There's a dolphin, and the manatees, you can see this like turbulent water right here. They were right there, and the manatees are somewhere around here right now. I can see their, their tail wake. There's the dolphins. Here's my burger, as always, at JB's. Jen got the crabulous, which is just crab and Old Bay. That's what I always get. I got the fried shrimp. And then Dave got a legit fried crab. Yeah. yeah. Just like battered a crab and threw it in the fryer. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you have an alien for a sandwich. <laughs> it's like a that. face hugger. Look at this thing. Can you tilt it down just a little bit? Down? Look at that thing. Don't oh match familiar. Alright, who's ready for the beach? I'm ready. Yeah, me too. I'm so hot. Break the grip of the rip. I'm gonna go ahead and count this as officially the time to switch to the GoPro. This is a uh, super wide angle, Tim. <laughs> I have a selfie stick. It's the first time ever in my life I've had a selfie stick. I like it. Let's do it. Let's go swimming with the selfie stick. You have to admit, it is a little bit like, cold in here. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! Okay, I think I have to do like I did at the springs where I just jump in. I feel like the worst idea that I've ever had is wearing my sunglasses in the ocean. These are my favorite sunglasses. I don't want to lose them. Wish that might happen in this trip. Hold on to them. Nothing happened. We'll do it again. Beautiful. It was not beautiful. Oh no, the perfect wave. Here it is. This is not the perfect selfie stick. I need a different selfie stick. Hold on, you lost your glasses? Yeah. Your brand new prescription one? Oh dear. Oh well. They're gone. <laughs> hey Jen. Yeah. Oh. of our Florida beach. It's beautiful. It's intense. Amazing. <laughs> intense. I loved it. There were, there were lots of waves that we were jumping over. I'm sure you guys saw that in the GoPro footage, but it was, uh, it was pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> what a super fun day at the beach. We got to see all kinds of stuff. Like, we went on a dolphin tour. We saw lots of dolphins. Uh, and then we went to JB's fish camp and we saw even more dolphins. 
So technically we didn't have to go on the dolphin tour. He was very educational, even though he's very hard to hear, but he did give us a lot of facts. I don't know what it is about the beach, but it wears you out. So we're off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.